to ECA News, broadcasting the news in Kazakhstan and around the globe. My name is Arjan Satpayova and our top stories. For the global news, the three tornadoes that touched down in the ottawa Kitineo region left houses demolished and uprooted trees in the pass and two people with critical injuries last Friday night. The twisters packed winds up to 265 km per hour. The stronger of the two, which is traveled from Dunrobin to Gatineau, was classified as an EF3 storm, while the one that touched down in Arlington Woods was an EF2. The third, which was only identified Monday night, touched down in Calaboogie with wind speeds of 175 km per hour, making it an EF1 twister. Environment Minister of Canada Catherine McKenna made an announcement in Halifax on Thursday as a part of the G7 meeting on environment and energy. We are going to eliminate unnecessary single-use plastics throughout government operations. So this includes straws, cutlery, packaging, cups, bottles, but it also includes using our purchasing power to ensure that we lead change and we drive sustainable plastics innovation, she said. Our commitment is to collect, reuse or recycle at least 75% of all our plastic waste by 2030, said Minister of Environment. A large part of discussions on Thursday focused on the devastation plastic pollution is having on the world's oceans. For regional news, on September 14-15, Kerik held the first joint session for the small basin councils of Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan as a part of Padishata River. The event was organized within the framework of Smart Waters project, which is implemented by Kerik with the financial support of the United States Agency for International Development. A number of issues related to the further development of the basin, such as the development of ecological tourism, the promotion of water accounting systems, the development of horticulture and crop production were also mentioned at the session. Particular interest was paid to the possibility of holding the event called Day of the Padishata River. The next joint meeting of SBC members of the Padishata River was decided to be held on the territory of Uzbekistan in the summer of 2019. On September 1920, a training on the international water law was held in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. The event was organized within Smart Waters Water Education and Cooperation Project, which is being implemented by the Regional Environmental Center for Central Asia with the support of USAID. The training was aimed at the introduction to basic principles of international water law. Participants expanded their visions in the field of international and national water legislation, studied international practice, legal foundations and mechanisms of water law. The event was designed for specialists of ministries, government, agencies, academic institutions and public organizations of Kyrgyzstan. The representatives of the Kyrgyz side of the Kurkuru, Padishata, Isfara, Aspara and Isfana Aksu, small basin councils and other interested national partners also took part in the training. The Jubilee Forum on the Platform of International Congress on Intellectualization of Economy was held in Minsk. The best scientists of the CIS discussed projects in the field of innovative technologies and ecology. Among the discussed projects, one of the key problems is the problems of the Caspian Sea. And what happened in Kazakhstan? New life of worn out tires. In Shumkin there was an enterprise which is engaged in processing of old tires. The most surprising that this enterprise has no waste and no production which is made here has customers. Ecoshina is engaged in the activity reflected in the state program Ecology of Kazakhstan 2010 and 2020, namely complex processing of waste and effective use of secondary raw material resources. Now, Ekashina is one of the largest companies in the Republic of Kazakhstan for processing user tires and rubber-containing waste. 
Working in the field of waste management, the company solves the issue of environmental safety in the region, eliminating accumulations of worn-out tires while using secondary raw materials for energy in consumer goods. The Technodome company has had the My House. We will restore natural parks and we will report to our future generation. 1,500 people, including the staff of Technodome, the Eli Alatau Park and other partners, volunteers, journalists and bloggers have planted more than 1,000 supplies in the Manhattan mountain. Except planting of trees, enthusiasts have removed several tons of garbage from the territory of the Natural Medeo Park. Organizers want to extend the idea through the whole country. Russia will help to deliver to Kazakhstan tens of tons of uranium, which will be stored in the special bank as a reserve in case in the world there will be a deficiency of nuclear fuel. Russia and the International Atomic Energy Agency on September 17 signed an agreement on the transportation of low-enriched uranium to Kazakhstan and the equipment necessary for the work of the agency bank in the northeast of Kazakhstan. The document was signed by Alek Kozin, the Deputy General Director for Logistics of GSC Technab Export, and Mark Bassett, the head of the project for the creation of the International Atomic Energy Agency Bank. As International Atomic Energy Agency Director Yukia Amana said, the first deliveries to the storage will begin in 2019. Raw materials will be stored in the bank of low enriched uranium, which was opened in 2017 on the basis of Ulba Metallurgical Plant in Uskamenogorsk.